Lauren Filer lived up to her impact bowler. Billing on debut as she and Sophie Ecclestone combined to redress the balance on the opening day of the Women's Ashes Test after Elias Perry had led Australia's dominance for swathes of the game. Perry had done what she does best for Australia in compiling another excellent test innings after Australia were 83 for two following the loss of openers Beth Mooney and test debutante Phoebe. Litchfield but she fell agonizingly short of her third test century when Filer had her caught at Gully on 99. That came after Ecclestone took two wickets and three deliveries, including Alyssa Healy for a second ball duck leaving Australia on 238 for six. A crowd of about 6,500 had thinned considerably after an hour and a half rain delay which straddled the tea break but, during an elongated evening session bathed in sunshine, those remaining saw Annabelle Sutherland and Ashley Gardner put on a 77-run partnership for the seventh wicket to steady Australia once more. But when Lauren Bell removed Gardner shortly after England took the second new ball, this winding contest took another turn. Ecclestone bowled 28 overs on the trot the lunch and rain stoppage falling within that spell and ended the day with 3 for 71 and Filer 2 for 65. Emphasizing Australia's batting depth. Gardner crashed the only six of the day down the ground off the part-time leg spin of Sophia Dunkley on the final over before the second new ball became available. But then Bell's in-swinger found Gardner's outside edge and wicketkeeper Amy Jones did the rest. Australia closed on 328 for seven with Sutherland unbeaten on 39. Playing her 11th test and record 10th Ashes series, Perry was excellent again for Australia. She pulled the short ball to the boundary, drove beautifully through the covers, including Ecclestone's first ball, and cracked a 76 miles per hour, 123 kilometers per hour filer delivery through backward point among her 15 boundaries. Now averaging 77.36 in tests, she had scored a century at Taunton in 2019 and an unbeaten double hundred in Sydney in 2017. On this occasion, Perry brought up her 50 threading of four off Kate Cross between second slip and goalie, followed immediately by another whipped off the pads through midwicket and shared a 119 run partnership with Talia McGrath, who produced some gorgeous stroke play through the covers herself in reaching a well-paced half century from 67 balls. It took a gem from left-arm spinner Ecclestone to remove McGrath, one that angled in and turned past the batter's forward defense to clatter into the top of middle stump. As expected, Litchfield opened alongside Mooney and played well during her innings of 23, including a deftly carved four through cover point off the fifth legitimate ball of the match after Cross twice overstepped in the first over. Litchfield steered Bell effortlessly to the left of a diving gully and produced a similar shutoff cross so that 12 of her first 15 runs had come in boundaries. Cross missed a tricky caught and bowl chance off Mooney, on 9 at the time, and saw her next ball timed with a plumb through extra cover by Litchfield. But Cross recovered when she had Litchfield out immediately after with a ball that pitched on a length outside off and moved in a touch before striking the front pad. It was probably inexperience which resulted in Litchfield departing swiftly without consulting the DRS. Hawkeye showed that the ball was missing the stumps just outside off. Mooney survived again on 19 when Cross drew a thick outside edge which flew towards Gully where a diving Danny Wyatt, making her test debut after 245 white ball games for England, couldn't hold on. But it was Filer who made the next breakthrough. Filer thought she had a wicket with her first ball, as did umpire Sue Redfern, who had judged Perry out LBW when she was on 10. But Perry had no hesitation in calling for the DRS, which confirmed she had got a big inside edge onto her back pad. Filer's second ball was just back of a length in the fourth stump channel and had Perry bending back, fencing and missing as she was beaten for pace.